guys, it's Bear here at Morimoto, and today we're going to be doing some four banger fog light replacements on this Nissan Titan. As you see, he already has the XB fog lights in this, but due to the fact a lot of his friends are off-road and overlanders, he wants to kind of have more of that off-road look. So we're going to be putting some four bangers in it. So stay tuned for the install. Now, before we start the install, it's important to choose the right LED pods. You can put any of your four banger pod lights in the fog kit. So let's talk about the brightness in beam patterns. So the four bangers, we have two different levels. We have an entry level, which uses a Nichia chip, and we call this the NCS version. Now we have the secondary level. This is for the premium users, the off-roading, the top dog of pod lights. This application uses the OSRAM chip, and we call it the HXB or the HX Boost. So once you decide what application level you would like, you will then move on to what driving pattern you want. We have three different patterns to choose from. Spotlight, the wide, or a combo driving pattern. We have all three patterns in an amber or white. So with our wide pattern, many people are more so drawn to the wide pattern to help increase night visibility and to use it as a fog light replacement. No matter if you choose the NCS or the HX Boost pod light, you will experience the same driving beam pattern. Now with our combo beam pattern, it is a super cool spot beam with a little bit more fill. It still stacks up to the competition very well, but remember most people will choose the white beam pattern over something like this. Now onto the spot beam pattern. Still an incredible bright beam pattern that is tight. It looks like a square that is done on purpose because we at Morimoto know a thing or two about beam patterns. All three patterns come in either a white or amber color. But one thing to note is your light output would be a little bit less with the yellow lenses. On the higher end, the HXB uses the OSRAM chip, but it doesn't come in yellow. The white light has to pass through the yellow lens and losing about 30% of its brightness. Still an incredible option. Something neat about the entry level, those Nichia chips do come in a yellow option. Having a yellow light pass through a yellow lens, it doesn't lose as much, so the light output is closely matched to that of the white counterpart. The overall footprint of the four banger is approximately 30% smaller than alternatives that offer comparable performance. This allows for an unbeatable 3 OEM Plus like fitment when paired with Morimoto's fog light or A-pillar mounting kits. With a standard and negative three degree aim, the beam pattern produced by the NCS wide beam model is designed to be compliant with the latest SAE F3 regulations for use as a street legal fog light. Now the HXB wide beam has a very similar beam pattern, but too much intensity to be considered a street legal fog light. And lastly, the Morimoto four bangers are backed up with a limited lifetime warranty. So enough talking about the product, let's get straight into the install. All right, before we get to the assembly of the four banger on the truck, we have to assemble the bracket first. So first thing you're going to take your four banger and there is going to be a U bracket in your bracket kit. So there's two bolts on the very back side of your four banger. We're gonna go ahead and take those out real fast. It's just gonna be a T10. And after you get both of these two out, and then you're gonna be installing two longer bolts in place of that shorter bolt. Now that you got those two smaller bolts out, you're going to be using this U bracket that's gonna go on the very top of your four banger. You just put it in place just like so. And how you can tell that it's in the right direction is that there's grooves so it fits nice and flush against your four banger. And then you're gonna take your two longer screws, like I said earlier, and just put it back in place where those other two short screws were. And you're just gonna tighten it back down with your T10. All right, now that you got your U-bracket in place, there's going to be a small little plastic clip. You're going to insert this into the square piece that's on top of your bracket. You're going to make sure you put it in vertically with the circle part inwards. So this is where your adjustment screw is going to screw in once you get your bracket onto there. Now that you have that on, you're gonna slide this piece up onto your four banger, just like so. And you're gonna hear the bracketry click into place. There's two notches on the very side of this bracket that will be fitting into the two side holes on your four banger. Your next step you're gonna be doing, you're going to take the spring that comes in the kit. You're gonna drop it in that little area, space just like so. And then you're gonna take this longer bolt and you're just gonna screw that in place just like so. All right, so you don't need to adjust the screw all the way. You'll be doing that later on after you get it installed to aim it vertically. Now that you got this piece on, you're gonna take the outer part of your bracket and you're going to slide it 
in place. There's little grooves on the inside of the bracketry and just make sure that they fit into those grooves properly. Just like so. And once those are in place, you're gonna take these four smaller screws that are in this kit and you're just gonna drop them in the housing areas and screw those in. And you can also use a T10 when screwing these down also. Mm. All right, now that you've got your bracket and your four banger in place, the last part of it will be putting your accessory harness. You'll be plugging this into your four banger and this will allow you to use your OEM harness and just plug it right in and then you're good to go for the install. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the install. What you wanna go ahead and do first is get your tire and wheel turned so you have a little bit more clearance in your fender well. There's gonna be three Phillips screws that you're gonna be removing from the front part of your fender well. The first two is gonna be on the front bumper. So we'll get those off real fast. And the third one's gonna be in the inside of your fender well, just right there. All right, now that you got those screws out, there's one last screw on the very base of the bumper. Let's get that removed out and the plastic piece will come out. Now that you got those four screws out, the plastic trim piece will slide just out, just like so. Next up, you're gonna unplug your fog light harness. So you're gonna be removing these four screws right here. There's gonna be one here, there, and also at the base with one nut. So as we see, we were missing some hardware on this vehicle. The previous owner removed the fog light, so it is what it is. So let's go ahead and remove the top two screws that are up on the top. So now that you got all the hardware removed, you can just remove your fog light. Now that you got your old fog light out, it's time to put your four banger in. It's a pretty easy install. You just kind of have to finagle. Usually you will put one side of the fog light in and then I'll just place it in just like so. Make sure you line up that one screw area and your four banger in will slide in just like so. Now that you have your four banger in place, you're just going to screw it back in with the OEM hardware and then just tighten everything back down. All right, now that you got your hardware reinstalled, you're going to plug in your harness to your OEM harness, just like so. Now, before you put the paneling and everything back on, make sure to test out your four banger first. If your four banger does not work, you might have to go back to your harness and just flip the cable over and replug it in. Okay guys, well that is a wrap for your Morimoto four banger replacements. If you wanna find a little bit more about for the Nissan Titan platform, make sure to go to our website at morimotolighting.com and put in your year, make and model and see what we have in store for you. And thanks again guys for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you guys next time.